Hello everyone and welcome to Early Morning Prayer Request and Devotions. I hope everybody's alright this morning. I'm, I'm doing okay. Uh, just still feel, you know, tired and stuff. I will, let's see, I had it yesterday. Or I had it Friday. And Saturday. And today will be Sunday. Surely by Monday I'll probably be feeling a little bit better. My allergies are driving me crazy too, so that doesn't help a bit, you know, so it's just always something. But I'm mainly just really wore out and sore now. I'm not really shaking now like I was this morning either. Okay, um, on our prayer request, Tiffany's brother passed away. Please pray for comfort for her and her family. And, um... Lisa has an unspoken request for her and her family. Lisa, give us an update Do you, if you need some more, uh, another unspoken request. We'll put it on there if you if you still need it. And uh, please pray for Logan. He has a callus on the bottom of his right foot that hurts when he walks. He has an appointment with a doctor uh, coming up soon. Kim Tunney is feeling much better and said thanks for the prayers. Jen's uncle Manuel needs prayer. He's been diagnosed with leukemia. Ian Wygath, he was in the hospital um, with a kidney stone. They did an operation. Uh, he had surgery and is pain-free now. Pray for a quick recovery. He was supposed to be able to go home today. Uh, I never heard back, you know, anything about it yet, so maybe he'll... Uh, give like an update tomorrow like on a short or something uh, kidney stones are awful if you've been, I hope you never have one any of you and if you've had one you know how bad they can be uh, that's that's the worst pain um, Zach's father father is suffering from anxiety pray he gets better and Jamie is having anxiety real bad pray for him to get better uh, Joy's friend Becky was going to have a heart valve replaced. Vanderbilt notified her that they can't do the surgery because she's too bad off. They're sending her to another doctor for open heart surgery. Pray that they can do something to help her. Pray for the family of Lily Peters who was murdered. Uh, may she rest in peace. Update on Joel. In about three months, they want to put back some of his skull that was removed. Pray that they can do it then. Uh, Sharon's sister's dog Coco has a collapsed trachea and is too old for surgery. They are trying meds for two weeks. If it doesn't work, she has to be put down. Please pray that the meds work. And you know, our, pet, our pets are just like uh, part of our family. You know, uh, Kitty certainly is to me. Um, if anything happened to her, I would I would be affected just like I would any anyone in, in our family. Um, you know, when our when our dog Pugsley passed away, I ended up in the hospital a week later. It really, really messed me up, and not not I mean it affected my Crohn's disease. It made me start having uh, a flare real bad, and uh, yeah, I ended up in the hospital. Um, Pugsley's buried out here in the backyard. We wanted him to be near. I believe he was 16 years old. He would meet me. Joy would open, like you would hear my truck. I'd, tell, I'd call Joy until I was coming home from work, and you could hear my old truck. I used to drive an old truck. Uh, real old. He was an 88. And a 88 Chevy long bed. And he would hear, Joy would be out there with him, and he would hear me pull in, and he would get so excited. And I'd open the door. He'd jump up in there get in my lap and he wanted to pretend like he was driving he put his paws on the wheel and I'd let him like turn the wheel and he pretend like he I'd do with a turn signal with him and stuff and he just he just loved it he just he lived for it I mean he waited for me to get home every day so it is it's it's hard okay um our scripture of the day and I've got my book back uh my Our Daily Bread was missing the whole month of April. I don't know why. I've never had one missing a month out of the middle here. It was gone. Uh, but I've got May. So thanks to Kim Westervelt from Kim Loves Artie. 
she sent me pictures every day I mean there's a few like every few days she sent me pictures of each each one so I could continue to use them and I appreciate that that helps very much help me very much because I love using this book um, and our devo uh, scripture of the day comes from Genesis 1 1 through 5 in the beginning God created the heavens and the earth now the earth was formless and empty darkness was over the surface of the deep and the Spirit of God was hovering over the waters and God said let there be light and there was light God saw that the light was good he separated the light from the darkness God called the light day and the darkness he called night and there was evening and there was morning the first day I just think that's that's really I like that passage there okay and let me get a drink of water and our devotion today is entitled let there be light in my daughter's earliest days I often named for her the things she encountered I'd identify objects or allow her to touch something unfamiliar and say the word for her, bringing understanding and vocabulary to the vast world she was exploring. Though my husband and I might naturally have expected or hoped her first word would be mama or daddy, she surprised us with an entirely different first word. Her small mouth murmured, Dite. One day, a sweet mispronounced echo of the word light I just shared with her. Light is one of God's first words recorded for us in the Bible. As the Spirit of God hovered over a dark, formless, and empty earth, God introduced light into his creation, saying, Let there be light. He said the light was good, and the rest of Scripture bears out. The psalmist explains that God's words illuminate our understanding, and Jesus refers to himself as the light of the world, the giver of the light of life. God's first utterance in the work of creation was to give light. That wasn't because he needed light to do his work. No, the light was for us. Light enables us to see him and to identify his fingerprints on the creation around us, to discern what is good from what is not, and to follow Jesus one step at a time in this vast world. In what area of your life do you most need God's light right now? How has his light helped you in the past? Thank you, Jesus, for being the light of life who illuminates the path for me every day. And Lord, I want to pray today for everyone on our prayer list. Please help all of them with their different needs and help anyone out there that's been affected by the virus. And please help this war in Ukraine to end. In the Lord's name I pray. Amen. I hope you all enjoyed this early morning prayer request and devotions. I'd like to welcome all our new friends here. Um, a lot of them I saw at... Uh, and met at uh, Donna Unboxes at her live chat. We had a really good time, and uh, I'm glad to see everybody. So thanks so much, everybody. I hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, I hope you'll press that like button. That helps my channel, and also subscribe if you haven't already, and share this out, and hit that <coughs> so you get all my videos as soon as they come out. All right, everybody, I hope you have a great morning. I think it's supposed to rain. Um, I'll have to look at the weather report before morning coffee break, but I'd love to see you at morning coffee break. So we'll see you later on. Have a great morning. God bless.